All right, so I'm just going to combine between the power surfacing futures and the SOLIDWORKS futures. And let's see in examples. First, I'm just creating the box here. And I'm just going to subdivide it. Then I just can clone it. Something like that. And let's do an edit here. So if you just move this around like that, let's just make it bigger. Okay, so it just looks like we got a shape, we convert it, and then just go to the combine tool. I'm going to combine this. Now I can just use the fillet between them and have a nice fillet here. Crease it, then you got something like this. You can just add a material. So that's pretty much nice. Can add more details. I can subdivide all, or I just can subdivide this body by this tools subdivide selected, and have ability to add some details here. Can increase this, maybe 35, and bevel inside, something like this. And we can also add some details here so maybe I can just increase this maybe we can just use hard crease and I can flat this one say I want to flatten this face on the y-axis alignment tools get the flatten on the x sorry I just mean the y Okay, it's Y axis. Then Control Z to just revert selecting and move it up. And you can pretty much just subdivide here. Maybe subdivide selected. Mesh tools. Subdivide selected. I can use these quads alignment and align circular now I have just a nice circle here increase it bevel increase again and I'm going to bevel inside extrude like that then increase again so once I just convert probably should redo the fillet. Select this edge again. And I have this nice fillet here. Let me just increase the performance quality so it could give me better quality here. Okay, so as you see now, everything looks smooth and great and I can even do anything I want just I can just crease this by doing a small fillet it's just all clear crease it and I just added a fillet here maybe five millimeters so that would be nice Okay, so that was a small tutorial to see how we can just using the power surfacing with SOLIDWORKS tools, which are great tools 
together. As you see, everything looks great here. Now, what about just alignment these faces on a degree? Something like I just need these faces here. Okay, I need to make these faces flat. Let me just align into and. I can insert an edge first. Let's add some sort of edges. So the right plan, or it's going to be, yeah, the right plan. And I just need to insert an. Uh, line like that so you want a degree here to be maybe 100 let's make it 120 okay so it's now 120 let's just move this a little back here surface extrude surface then let's just extrude it and press apply go to surface make him PLO debar surfacing or debar future all right so just move the old futures like that let me just edit Now I'm going to edit the future of the board surfacing and I'm going to select these faces. And board to reference, use this face. Then I'm going to alignment line complainer and maybe I can constrain to the face alright so just have something like that then I can easily clear or reference or remove all constraints let's just clear the reference then I can select my faces again like that and it should have this degree that I want it as you see it's just having the same degree I just select it. So I just convert it and I got every single looks great. Great here. Let me hide this. can even go to the bar shell here and add some thickness maybe two millimeters and I'm going to just make it 0 0.9 or 8 let's add the bar shell
Now let's activate this, this section view. And as you see, everything looks quite amazing. So I just show it this part without any errors. And it looks pretty smooth. 